Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Prison School Episode 5. Um, obviously the last episode ended on a cliffhanger, and it started right when that cliffhanger happened, where she kicks the door in to the stall, and it shows Kiyoshi there, thankfully. And I was like, oh, thank god he's back. And he's not in the girl's uniform, so he's good. And, uh... The other's leaving, Gakudo goes over to him and asks him, you know, if he got, ask him if the reason he got back, or rather ask him if he got the stuff. Oh my god. Why? So will be streaming, but it's gonna have to wait because I just got called in to come and help. Nobody called out, thankfully. It's just that my assistant manager called me and asked me to come in because she's cleaning behind the register and it's apparently so bad and she doesn't want to lose any time on the freight. Because we got our truck yesterday. <sighs> oh god, I'm so tired. Uh, I'm almost still asleep. <laughs> the one time she wants to sleep in, I say sleep in. Even if it means I have to deal with my nephews. Anyway, uh, prison school. Um, at first, Gakudo thinks that Kiyoshi came back early because he wasn't able to get the figurine, and he starts freaking out about it, and the guy tells him, No, I got it. And, but uh, the thing with uh, Chiyo didn't go well. And... You know, Gakudo's over the moon because he's got a figurine, but he hid it behind, like, the- I think he hid it behind the toilet? And they head out, and, um, the bad thing is that... Kiyoshi forgot to change out of the girl shoes. Oh my god, to record. With little kids in the house, that's why I am so happy when the kids go outside. Because then they're out of my hair, and I can record as I want. Anyway, uh, yeah. He forgot to change out of the shoes, and the vice president, not the vice president, the president recognized them and realized that he had snuck out. And, um, the reason that they know is because Chio posted, or sent a text to the president letting her know about, you know, with the picture. And I was like, don't. And she did, and apparently... The plot twist is that Chio is her sister. Kiyoshi had no way of knowing that. And di neither did I, for that matter. Anyway, um... They look at the uniform, and it's obviously Chio's uniform, and they assume that he did something sexual towards her. And they put him in solitary confinement. And when they question him, he doesn't, uh, he takes the full blame for this. He doesn't, uh, sell Gakudo out. And because of this, they get another month added to their sentence. And Shingo and the others are not happy about this. Because not only did they get another month added on, but they were never told about this plan. And they feel very, you know, betrayed, like he doesn't trust him. And I'm like, why, oh why, did they not tell them? The only reason I could think of is that if they did, they would also want something like I could have wanted those figurines. And... I can kind of understand that, but still, they could have helped make the plan go so much more smoothly, and yeah, it could have gone a little better. Actually, it probably still would have ended the same because of the whole Chia mess, but... Actually, they could have possibly still grabbed a different uniform, but whatever. Anyway, uh, they try to get Kiyoshi expelled because of this. And get him to actually sign the paperwork that would make that would cause him, you know, to leave the school. Chio finds out about this after thinking about it the entire time since the sumo event, 
and tells her sister that, yeah, you can't do this. He had a good reason for doing what he did. And, yeah, that she actually takes the form and signs it herself, saying that if he's getting kicked out, then I'm leaving too. And she keeps the form, saying that if essentially they try it again, she will sign it and send it in. And not only that, but she pulls Kiyoshi into her chest to where his face is in her chest. And the president is telling him, get your face off my sister. And I'm, he's, I, I'm like, really? He can't really control this at this point because she's got him at this point. She's got her arms wrapped around his neck at this point. So he kind of can't move even if he wanted to. And he decides that he's not going to sign it after all because he was actually considering signing it. But yeah, Chiyo's chest was the deciding factor in all this. And actually the part of the deciding factor because Chiyo stood up for him. So yeah, he's not signing it. And um, when he gets back with the others, um, the rest of them are giving him the cold shoulder. And yeah, essentially isolating him from everything that they have to do. Like if they have a job that they have two teams for. Uh, Gakudo could ha would have worked with Kiyoshi, but they pulled him in their group so that way Kiyoshi's by himself. And he has to clean the bathrooms all by himself and fix the broken door to where where the vice president kicked it. Bad thing. Hana's back and she still has a bit of a grudge against Kiyoshi. That's not good. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's the entire episode, and apparently they've got some kind of plan going to get rid of the boys permanently. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time.